Good morning, Bethel United Methodist Church family, and good morning everyone who's joining me on my ride to work. So, I don't know if you've noticed, I'm having a really fluffy hair day, but I'm okay with that. I like fluffies, fluffy kittens, fluffy puppies, but anyway, that's not why y'all joined me. Oh, Matthew. So today, see, I'm on my way to work. Anyway. So I wanted to talk about fear again a little bit, just a little bit, because fear has a way of changing us. And I was looking at some Facebook posts, and again, I know Facebook, the news, it's all, it, it, it goes against everything I'm telling you guys to do, and that's be positive, to rely on God. Because if you looked at Facebook and some of the stuff people post, that is not the way they're trying to lead you. And that's not the way the devil wants you to lean. He wants you to lean on your own understanding. And he wants you to lean on you. That's it. He wants you to be burdened. He wants your burdens to be so heavy. Because when they're heavy and when we're tired, that's when we tend to make mistakes. But anyway. So today I was reading Matthew chapter 11. And it was 26 verses 26 through 28. And there was a word in there I didn't know. Now, please don't laugh at me, but um, when Jesus tells us to, to put on his yoke, the only yoke I have ever known is an egg, an egg yolk. So I was like, maybe he's talking about he's feeding us or I don't get it. So I had to Google and, and look it up in the, the dictionary. And there it was, yoke. It's used to guide ox or oxen, usually one yoke for two ox. And I'm like, hmm. But then I start thinking about it. Nothing we do is ever natural. We have to learn how to do everything. We have to learn how to unthink stuff sometimes. And being able to say, well, that's always how we've done it is not always a good thing. Um, like I said, we're in unprecedented times right now. We are in times when nothing makes sense. You know, people, and what's the reason why I'm talking about this is last night on Facebook, um, in one of the little groups I'm in, this woman had posted, and I say this woman because I don't know her from Adam, had posted a picture um, that was reposted by another woman, and the original woman, because of course I went to the original post, I'm, I'm curious, I want to know, she had posted a picture of a woman who had like five or eight, ten cases of chicken and I'm talking like the big packs of chicken um, the kind that whenever I bring them home my kids are like no no chicken mom anyway and I looked at it and she was like this is disgusting this is horrible and you wonder why we you know can't be good but then I stopped and I was this close to, to jumping on that bandwagon and then I realized um, that wasn't the case. What she was doing was actually buying for a group, buying for multiple families, not just hers. She was thinking outside the box because that's the way we've always done it. Didn't work this time. She was thinking outside the box and for her neighbor out of love to keep them from having to go outside, apparently multiple houses, she went. So, I thought about it, and I was like, if that's not someone who is taking the yoke, I don't know what is, because she is letting Jesus teach her, teach her new lessons during this pandemic. You know, why are we, we carrying this heavy load? Why aren't we willing to learn? Why aren't we willing to step out of our comfort zone and let our shepherd lead us? You know, I look around and I think it's brilliant. I've offered, you know, I've called the con my congregation and I've offered that since I'm already out in the public anyway, I'll go shopping for you if that's what you need. Um, if you want to just order a pickup, I'll do that for you. That way you don't have to go out. And it occurred to me that that may be what that lady was doing. 
And here was this other person because she was stuck on, well, that's the way we've always done it, mindset. She didn't think outside the box that maybe the lady with a whole bunch of food in her buggy, in multiple buggies, wasn't buying out of fear, but was buying out of love. So you had this woman who allowed fear to change her for the better. She's taking care of her neighbors. And you had fear allow this other woman to react in a, that's despicable. So, food for thought. Anyway, I'm here at work, about to get my temperature taken. Um, because as you know, if you have a fever, you can't come to work. So here we are, safety first. Good morning. Good morning, temperature taken, folks. Uh, uh oh, it hasn't reset yet. I don't have yeah. a fever. See? Come on, reset. Nine five seven. Hold on. Yeah, that's that's more temperature. Hold on. Ninety five. <laughs> there we go. That's All right. How are we going? Thanks. Well, and thank you, Bethel United Methodist Church. I'm sorry I've gone long on some of these. I really don't intend to. Um, but I don't know if you guys have noticed I ramble and I'm a little long-winded. But I promise I'll get better. I will. Hopefully the Holy Spirit will sometimes just put it on my heart of what to say quickly, precisely, and simply, and then do this. But either way, you guys have a fantastic day. Remember to yield to Jesus and let him teach you something new today. Because the way we've always done it isn't working. Talk to you guys later. Bye.